Hey Vikes, I'm Allie and you're watching SBCB. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. ACT prep class has been rescheduled. It will be offered via Zoom on Sunday, October 7th, and again on November 1st. Any freshman students staying for ASAP who need transportation must sign up in the SFC office no later than 1.15 p.m. on Tuesday or Thursday. Viking Brew is doing a new promotion. Every time you buy a 20-ounce drink, you can enter your name and guess for the bucket of candy. The closest person to the number will win the bucket. Boograms will be sold the week of October 12th through the 16th and will be delivered on October 27th through the 29th. Here's an inside look on how the volleyball team is doing. SVTV interviewed Tatiana Schaefer and Cameron Turner about the Seaman Vikings volleyball team. So as a volleyball player, um, how has COVID-19 affected you guys going into the season? Um, at first, we didn't know if we were able to get in the gym and like physically have everyone that's on the team like play together but we ended up being able to wear masks um when we were played inside and had our individuals and our team practices so far it's impacted us by having us had to reschedule quite a few games um there have been teams who haven't been able to play at certain times and we've had to change the date of the game or we've had to find new teams last minute so that's been a little bit stressful um but thankfully, our athletic director has been super helpful with all that. What are some strengths and weaknesses of your team, you'd say, so far? I would say the strengths of our team um, is that I feel like there are a lot of girls who uh, can perform their roles. So we're able to spread the ball around pretty evenly. Um, we don't just have to rely on one person to always put the ball away for us. Um, but one of our weaknesses is definitely our defense and our serving. I feel like we could be better defensively and serve more aggressive. What experience can you bring to some of these newer girls who are um, some of these underclassmen on the squad? Um, I know the varsity level is a lot faster than some of the other girls who just came in playing like club at their age. It's a lot like faster. And so just that getting them used to that fast pace and like energy all the time. I think that's an adjustment and they're doing it really well with that. Um, I have full expectations to be better than last year. I challenge each group to be better than the year before. I challenge each player to be better than they were the year before. And I think that we have the opportunity um, to make it to state this year. We just need to make sure that we're always playing to our abilities to be able to do it. The football game Friday at Emporia will be live streamed at www.emporia.com starting at 7. Now on to Zoe with weather. Good afternoon Vikings. I'm sure many of you have noticed this past week we have been experiencing very warm temperatures which are unseasonable for this time of year but and by next two weeks or so we will be reaching back down into the 60s and 70s for quite a while longer. As you can see today, we are going to reach up into the 80s yet again. Then tonight, our temperatures will cool back down into the 70s. For your SVTV 7-day forecast, we star still are going to be staying in these really, really warm temperatures. But as I said earlier, within a couple of weeks, we will be back down into the 60s. Now back to your anchor. Thanks, Zoe. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a good day. Thank you.